Hello everyone, um, if you're new to the channel, thanks for coming, if you're one of my regulars, I don't know how many I've got left, but thanks for watching again. A um, bit of short and dirty video this time, a um, few things have happened, good and bad, there's been a, a big issue in the UK with insurances, um, the company that basically covered most of the jet powered vehicles in the UK. Um, has pulled out of doing insurance which left a big problem for people even as big as Martin Hill with Fire Force. Julian Webb with Split Second uh, just created a big problem. Luckily there's been a, a solution found uh, but unluckily that will mean there's no more £30, £35, £40 sign on fees at Santipod. It will be £274 plus the sign on fee. So that um, kind of slows down the amount of times I'll be able to go um, to run the car to Santa Pod. I knew at Alvington um, I was going to have to do licensing, there was going to have to be scrutineered of the cart and again there was going to have to be public liability insurance but I had because of experience in the past the cost of the insurance and that I hope would be a lot less than £274 at a time and it may go up next year so just making life that little bit harder for us, for me and others, so all the same for all of us. Uh, it's just something that we'll have to deal with now. Um, things are happening, the afterburner at the side of me here. Um, it's the flame tube pretty much welded up, and for those that didn't get it right, yeah, that's basically the igniter plug goes through there. Obviously, the igniter plug's fixed so to allow for any movement expansion of the flame tube and whatever there's a little boss that goes around it it's got a bit of a flex and the plug goes straight through the middle there um, again uh, Steve Gag helped me out with the welding so what's been happening um, I can't tell you much but I have helped with a TV engine that's about all I can really say uh, if you're in the UK, um, you should probably see in autumn, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, things are happening. Grant uh, at Robo Challenge, who I helped, they've done some parts for me. I'll soon have them here. Um, time on the CNC machine, hopefully next month the engine should be done and September I hope to run the engine. Uh, the other thing that's now I'm, I'm not having wanted a pity party but some may have noticed in the past I've got psoriasis well I have and the treatment I'm on at the moment is really good but I've also got it in my joints as well as fibromyalgia so I have to take every day as it comes and going to the track is going to be probably in two years time something I'm not so good at doing so I'll probably pass my seat on I'm not going to let this car go but I may pass my seat on to somebody younger and thinner than me but I just want to hold the record in my own rights just just so it was me that piloted not not built but me built and piloted I just want to hold it in my own rights I want to prove that this engine can be built and run not just myself but for John Wallace John's helped me and I'm so pleased he's got his engine running but I know he's not happy with it and there's more to come believe me there is more to come but as he's so kind his first comment was well yeah mine's okay but yours will be so much more and I'm like it, and only because you've helped me John only because I get the help from you John but obviously we've got to get the thing to and from the track so at the moment um, I think all I can say is I'm, I'm, I'm converting things into cash, uh, I'm selling me i fi I'm selling me laptop and other things, I need to get a van, I need to move this around, I need to have somewhere to recover, rest and probably get a night's sleep before we travel back especially when it gets cold in the UK it gets right into my bones but I'm my people friends I'm not I'm no 
it's just what it is. People in a much worse situation than me. I'm just saying this is how it is and this is why things are perhaps taking longer. Scammers trying to scam me for a 500 pound laptop. People buying things on eBay and not paying and coming up with all these excuses until basically they've got the money which means then you can't sell it to somebody else. It's just got to be a bit of a hit show. Um, it used to be a good thing eBay and Marketplace and all those things but so many people now have realised they can rip people off and shame on them, shame on them. So anyway, that's my waffle. I just thought you all deserved a bit of an update. Um, things are happening, this thing will get built. Big thanks to Steve Gag and his welding. Wouldn't be here without him. Thanks mate. Um, hope you get some help with your back. Um, honestly, when me and him are at the same place, it's like two old cripples walking around and grunty with pain. Um, yeah, we'll get the van. Thanks to everyone that signed up for Patreon. It may only be £3 a month, but it, it all helps. This month, uh, the money's going towards buying a cab heater. I've, I've got some money coming from YouTube, which is like the first payment I've had in six months. So with that and what um, you guys divvy up, and I, I appreciate every penny of it, um, I'm going to buy the, the cab eater because again having somewhere warm um, to van station they've been proper gents about it the, the van I've chosen I've paid some money on it they've said look don't rush just pay as when you can it's low miles it's a little bit of an engine issue which I'm sure I've got enough people around here that can help me sort it out get it back on the road I was pleased to see all the MOT history there's no mention of suspension tyres bushes it's just basically uh, I think one of the self-leveling motors on the headlights has packed up and it's a bit wheezy it's a bit smoky but there's so many little things on these diesel engines nowadays that if they're not working or they're not working at the optimum can affect that so I don't think it's a big issue um, but again everyone thanks we will get there we will set the record and a lot of it will be down to the support you guys give and I don't mean just the money guys I mean being there commenting on the videos just honestly for me and I know my missus appreciates she helps me can't fault her um, we've just been out today and we were looking at things and I was like looking and assessing whether and she just went well we'll get them we're here now simple as <laughs> did get a bit of a deal on them so there is that till next time guys sorry I waffle like um, just keep safe, look after each other and we will get there and I have just ordered some vinyl to print all your names on clear vinyl so I can stick it on the body um, if you can, all the guys that have contributed on um, Patreon if you can let me know what names you want whether you want a nickname on, whether you want your full name whether you want a mate's name or another's or whatever, whatever name you want that you've got the right to have put on the car, let me know what it is so I can get this list together and I'll print it on vinyl, clear vinyl and it'll get stuck on the car. So, take care guys, thanks.